Number 94. What is the ratio of the average kinetic energy of a SO2 molecule to that of an O2 molecule in a mixture of the two gases? And then, what is the ratio of the root mean square speed, which is U, RMS, of the two gases? So here we have two different questions. So let's tackle the first one. They basically want us to know what the ratio of this average kinetic energy is between the SO2 molecule and the O2 molecule. So they're asking for a ratio. Now a ratio, remember, can be a seen in two different ways. So either one is acceptable here. So remember, a ratio can either be stated as, we'll just say SO2's kinetic energy with this colon, and then we'll have O2's kinetic energy. So a ratio can be seen with a number, dot, dot, and then another number, right? Or we can write it as a fraction. That's also an accepted form of a ratio in which we'll put SO2's kinetic energy and then divided by O2's kinetic energy. Either way, it doesn't matter what format you put it in. They're both acceptable formats for a ratio. All right. Well, now, how are we going to get these actual numbers, right? What is the SO2 uh, kinetic energy, and then what's the O2 kinetic energy? They didn't give us any numbers here, so this is kind of like all hypothetical. Well, I wrote down here that Ke equals 3 over 2 times R times T. Ke is the kinetic energy, kinetic energy, and that's of any gas molecule. And this is equal to 3 over 2, okay, that's a, a number, right, times R, which we've seen in uh, before, right, we've seen it in uh, the beginning of this chapter. This is just a constant value, right? And then the T is the temperature. So it seems here that kinetic energy is linked between basically one variable, because 3 over 2 is just a number, so we don't care about that. The R value is just a constant number. So the idea here is that kinetic energy will only change with changing temperatures. Now, this is in accordance with one thing. This is basically saying that uh, you have a standard, a standard amount of a substance if you're trying to compare two kinetic energies, which is what we're trying to do here, of a substance. But basically we'll say of a gas. Now what did they say over here? Well, they said that we had an SO2 molecule. So for the SO2, we just have one molecule of that. And then for the O2, they also said that we just had one molecule of the O2. So it looks like we have the same amount of quantity of the SO2 and the O2. It's the same. And for any standard amount, it just has to be the same, that kinetic energy would be the same because it's only linked with changes of temperature. But if you have like one mole of SO2, the average kinetic energy would be the same if, it, if you had one mole of O2. The same thing here. I have one molecule of SO2, which is, you know, a, a number of moles, but that's the same number as if you have one molecule of SO2. So you can say that you have any number for this kinetic energy. I don't know. Let's just say that the SO2 kinetic energy is one. And if it's the same amount, right, one molecule and one molecule, that kinetic energy of O2 would have to be the same. So it would be literally 1 over 1, or 2 over 2, which gets reduced down to 1 over 1. So for the first answer, we could either write it like this, or if we go back to this you know, colon uh, aspect of finding the ratio, it would just be 1 dot dot 1. I like this way better because this is kind of for a ratio, and eh, 1 over 1, eh. I would say let's just keep it with 1. Dot one. Basically what this means is it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So whatever the kinetic energy of SO2 is, the 
average kinetic energy of O2 is going to be the same. Now let's answer the next question. What's the ratio of the root mean square speeds, the URMS, of the two gases? Now this comes from a different equation. We use this equation for the first part. Whenever you see uh, URMS, that's the root mean square speed, we're going to look at a formula, and it's right here. Maybe I'll put this over here. Maybe I'll put a box, a nice, lovely little box, just so that now we know we're working over here. Now, this kind of looks like a formula that we used in a couple of questions uh, ago when we did uh, diffusion, right, rates of diffusion, but it has basically the same principle. You have two different gases, one labeled A, one labeled B, and all you got to do is just divide by the square root of the mm. MM stands for molar mass, the mass that's on the periodic table. It does not matter which one you list as A and which one you list as B. Um, I guess we'll say that A is SO2, and then B would be O2. So in this case, I'm going to erase the Bs and put down that this would be specifically O2, and then the As... The A's would be the SO2. So we have SO2, SO2. Now we're looking for the ratio. Remember, I said a ratio could be in two forms. It could be that dot, dot, or it could be the division. And look here. There's the ratio between the root mean square speeds. So we're solving for this whole thing. This is what we're solving for. So maybe I could label that as X, right? All we have to do is just find out what the molar mass of O2 is and what the molar mass of SO2 is. So we need the calci and we need periodic table, right? So let's just say, just for simplicity purposes, let's just say that we're solving for X, right? That's this whole thing. And this is going to be something divided by something else. It's the square root of the molar masses. I'm just going to throw this over here. And now let's go to the periodic table. Oxygen is 16. There's two of them. So the top number would be a 32. That's the molar mass of oxygen. And then I just have to add another 16. Uh, sorry. SO2 is, yeah. S is 32 plus 32. So 64.02 to be exact. And now let's just do the division, right? Pretty straightforward from this point. What do you think, guys? Let's see. You could do this in two steps. Get the square root, right? Get that answer. Get the square root on the bottom and then divide. I'm just going to do it all in one shot on my calculator. So I got the square root of 32 divided by the square root. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boys, what happens? What's going on here? Okay, here we go. Divided by the square root of 64.02. And this is X, so let's give it, I don't know, three sig figs, 0 0.707. And remember, ratios do not have any units, so this would be the answer. So if you wanted to just say that this all equaled, you know, the root mean squared ratios of the two, that's fine with me. So you have SO2 on the top, and you have O2 on the bottom. And we are done. Pretty simple, guys, right? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Let me just get rid of this. There we go. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard. I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.